If you're in search of a clean-cut hero, then you are out of luck. Honour be damned, it's time to meet the 27th century's Russian rogue, Nikolai Dante. Dante gleefully swung from Baroque chandeliers to steal hearts and fortunes alike in a decadent and cruel 2666 AD Russia ruled by despotic Tsar Vladimir the Conqueror. Here the stage is set for a whirlwind epic of political intrigue, dynastic bloodlines and good old-fashioned revolution. In a breathless plot exploding from a simple robbery, the brash buccaneer finds himself enthusiastically embroiled in biologically enhanced royal families and monstrous galactic gulags, and that's just the first collection. While this famous son of a pirate queen matures and kind of humbles over the course of the blockbuster run, each of Nikolai's misadventures is penned with flair and aplomb by co-creators Robbie Morrison and Simon Fraser. Their sly send-up of famous swashbuckling sleazeballs such as Errol Flynn is perfect for those with a soft spot for not-so-romantic escapades of daring do. Fraser's dynamic widescreen art is joined by a musketeer's rank of stellar artists such as Charlie Adlard, Henry Flint, Chris Weston, John Burns, Andy Clark, Steve Yowell and Paul Marshall. In 2012, Morrison and Fraser brought the 15-year saga of Dante to a close in Sympathy for the Devil. But does he end up as hero or villain? Dante is perfect for fans of The Princess Bride, Flashman, Scaramouche, and the early Pirates of the Caribbean flicks. You know, when they were good. And lovers and rogues alike can dive headfirst into his adventures with the complete saga, which is available digitally from 2080's web shop and apps. Well, let us know what you think about Nikolai Dante's adventures in the comments on Facebook and YouTube Earthlets, as next week we continue our alphabetical odyssey through the greatest stories from the galaxy's greatest comic.